Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a little versus video where I test out two different concealers on my eyes. So one concealer is going to be the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in a Jar, and then the other one is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, and that one is also in a jar. So I'm going to test out both products, one on each eye, and then I'm gonna let you know what I think about them. So if you would like to see how they perform and see if the NYX concealer ends up being a dupe for the NARS one, then please keep watching. So as you can see, I already have foundation on my face. I put on the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and this is in the shade Creamy Vanilla 01. I just swiped a little bit on my eyelids and under my eyes, just basically my entire eye area, just whatever was left on the brush that I used to blend it out so that it would be kind of like an even canvas for the concealer to go on top of because that's what I typically do. I usually just sweep a little bit of the excess foundation on my eyes and then I'll put concealer on top of that. So I'm gonna be testing out the NYX Full Coverage Concealer and this is their concealer that is in a jar, as you can see. And I have the shade Porcelain and this little jar right here. I've done another video where I actually just did a first impressions review on this product. I'll link it up in one of these corners up here if you wanna watch that. But today I'm gonna to do a versus video. So I already know how this works. I like this concealer, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna do this concealer versus the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And this is the concealer that is in a jar for NARS. So it's kind of like their comparable product. And I have the shade Vanilla Light 2, but I don't have an actual full size. I have a little sample pack like this, but it is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So you can see it's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla, which is the light two. So I have not yet bought a full-size version of the NARS concealer because that one is a little bit expensive and I don't really need a concealer at the moment. But I received this as a little like sample to try out with a recent order I made. So I figured why not try them because the first time I actually tried this, it was around the time that the NARS concealer in a jar came out. And I thought, oh, that'd be cool to kind of do like a versus video for those two products but I just never bought that one so when I got this as a little sample I figured I should try them out so I have tried this though a few times already but there's still a, a good amount of concealer left in here because it seems like it goes a long way so I'm going to do the NARS concealer on this eye and then I will do the NYX concealer on this eye okay so starting out with the NARS concealer I'm just gonna get some on a little brush so I can scoop it out of the container and I'm just gonna apply it to my under eye area Put a little bit more, just where I have more prominent dark circles, which is basically my entire eye area. And then I'll just put a little bit on my eyelid. I usually use concealer as my eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I actually use primer, but typically I just use concealer because it's easier for me and it's faster. One less product to take out. So that eye is done with applying the product. Okay, and now I'm going to just blend out my under eye area with this Equal Tools sponge. This is like their version of a beauty blender. This actually isn't the full size one. This is the little mini one. So I think it's going to be good for my under eye area. So I just dampened it and it got a little bit bigger. It was a little bit smaller than this before. I'm gonna do the other eye now with the NYX concealer. So same thing, I just got some product on the brush. Just apply it to my entire under eye area. And I cl cleaned off the brush before I dipped it into the other concealer so that I'm not mixing the two products. Okay, now I'm gonna blend it out and I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge which didn't really get too much of the product on it. So that's how the eyes look with just one application of the concealer on each eye. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can actually see up close. So I did not set it yet, so that's why you can still see that little bit of like glow. But just looking at how they apply to my eyes, I think they look almost the same. They look pretty identical. I don't really notice too much of a difference. I think I'm gonna apply just a little bit more to each eye because I do notice that a little bit of my dark circles are peeking through. Okay. 
Okay, so now after doing another application, I do notice a little bit of a difference. The NARS one looks like it has a little bit more coverage than the NYX one, but only slightly. They look very similar on the eyes. Okay, to set my under eyes, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana Yellow. So just get a bunch on the brush. And then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit before, make sure there's no creases. So now that my under eyes are set with the powder, I do notice a tiny bit of a difference between the two sides. So on this side where the NARS concealer is, I definitely think that it did a better job at covering my dark circles because like right here along this edge of my under eye area, it doesn't look quite as purple as right over here. Here it looks a little bit more purple on this side where the NYX concealer was used. The NYX concealer isn't quite as matte as the NARS one. Like even before I said it, I noticed that the NARS one looked a little bit more just the finish was a little bit more matte and a little bit more like creamy, whereas the NYX one looked a little bit more shiny and emollient, if that makes sense. So they have a slight different finish, but it's pretty close and it's pretty similar in terms of coverage. I think that the NARS one does blend out a little bit easier and it looks a little bit more natural and more like your skin and doesn't look as much like concealer once it's blended out versus the NYX concealer. But I think that they're both pretty good and pretty comparable and like it doesn't look like there's a big difference between my two eyes right now. It doesn't look like it's creasing really. I always get a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes where I have the fine lines. So that happens no matter what. I can't really avoid that. But just comparing the two eyes, I don't notice that one is really creasing more than the other. It was just before I set them, I noticed that the NYX one was starting to crease more than the NARS one. But once you set it, it doesn't seem like there's much of a difference. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I finished up all the rest of my makeup as you can see, but after applying the NYX and the NARS concealers to my under eyes, I didn't apply it anywhere else on my face because I just wanted to focus on my under eyes because that is where I mostly apply concealer. Overall, I would say that they work pretty, pretty similar. I don't think that there's much of a difference between each eye. Again, this was the side that had the NARS and this is the side that has the NYX. So I don't think that there's much of a difference between them. They both seem like they crease about the same and it's not really a problem with creasing. It's not really the concealer, it's just because I have fine lines under my eyes. So they're gonna show up no matter what. I think that they both worked really well to conceal my dark circles and also to just like conceal my veins and then, you know, to kind of make my eyes not look as puffy under there. I think that they both did a pretty equal job. The only thing is when I was actually working with them, the NARS one is a little bit easier to work with. Like it's a little bit easier to blend and it doesn't crease quite as much before you set it. The NYX one seems like it creases a little bit more prior to setting it. But once you set it, that's not really an issue. So I can kind of look past that because the end result is about the same. I think that the NARS one is pretty good, but if you compare the price of the NYX and the NARS, it's definitely a big difference. So the NYX concealer in a jar retails for $4.99 at Target, and then the NARS soft matte concealer retails for $30 at Sephora. So there's basically a $25 price difference between the two which is quite a lot of money because they're both concealers and they both basically do the same job. So I would probably say that I would be more likely to repurchase the NYX concealer just because it's way more affordable. And I didn't notice that much of a difference between the NARS and the NYX concealer. As far as like high-end concealers go, I kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer better than the NARS one that I tried today. That's just like my opinion right now, it could change in the future depending on like if my eyes are drier or more oily, I don't know. But just as of now, I kind of prefer the Tarte one just because it's more full coverage than the NARS one. But comparing the NARS and the NYX concealer, I would definitely say that the NYX one is basically like the same end result. It basically has the same finish and everything and it's way cheaper, $25 cheaper. So I would definitely say it's like a dupe for the NARS concealer. So if you've seen the NARS concealer all over YouTube or on Instagram and you've been wanting to try it, but it's a little bit too expensive for you, I would definitely recommend trying out the NYX concealer because in my opinion, it basically works 
like exactly the same. I hope that this is helpful for you if you are interested in trying out either product. It's always nice to find a cheaper dupe for a more expensive brand because if you can save money on makeup, that's always a good thing. And not everyone can afford to spend $30 on a concealer. That's pretty expensive considering that you go through concealers pretty quickly. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!